Hi everyone, Sir Janus here and welcome to another episode of Einstinatics TV. Today, we are going to put focus on classes and uses of organic compounds which is covered by Quarter 2, Module 5 or Science 9. So, ano nga ba yung objectives natin for today's video? Of course, our main objective is for you to recognize yung mga general classes and ano yung gamit ng mga organic compounds. And specifically, we are going to try to classify yung mga iba't ibang klase ng organic compounds, explain kung paano yung structure of carbon atoms affects the type of bonds it forms, and of course, recognize the general classes and uses of organic compounds. So, let us define what are organic compounds. Pag sinabing organic compounds, these are in general, kailangan meron siyang carbon which are covalently bound to other atoms, especially carbon to carbon and carbon hydrogen, which is an example of hydrocarbons. Now, let us explore the physical properties of carbon. So, unang-una, the carbon has this following electronic configuration. So, 1s2, 2s2, and 2p2. Talking about its electronic uh, negativity, it has 2.55. This is its covalent radius, and this is the reason why carbon is being able to bond with so many compounds or so many elements. It is because carbon has four valence electron. So because of this, pwede siyang mag-form ng single, double, triple, or even quadruple bonds against other elements. Now, let us talk about organic compounds and their uses. As we all know, that carbon compounds exist in many different forms. It is because of, correct, it is because of its valence electrons. Now, there are many examples of organic compounds which can be seen or can be observed in our everyday life. So, yung mga organic compounds that contains carbon and hydrogen, and this often comes with oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, and other elements. To name a few, Yung ibang mga gamit ng carbon compounds or organic compounds is we have, of course, yung paper, yung nail polish, yung candle, yung mga fabrics or tela, you have also soap, and of course, yung gasoline. Now, let's proceed to the first example of organic compounds, which is known as hydrocarbons. Now, ano nga ba yung hydrocarbons? Now, from the word itself, Hydrocarbons, these are molecules na binubuo ng carbon and hydrogen. So usually, yung mga hydrocarbons are found in many of a cell's organic molecules to include yung mga fat molecules and of course, yung mga mammalian adipose cells. So there are four families na bumubuo sa hydrocarbons. So this includes the alkanes, the alkenes, alkynes, and the last one are aromatic compounds. Now, what are the key features or paano mo ba malalaman yung pagkakaiba between the four? Unang-una, yung alkanes ay binubuo ng single bonds only. Wherein, yung alkanes naman, they are made from carbon to carbon double bond. And yung sa alkynes naman, ito ay binubuo or dinudugtong ng isang triple bond. And of course, yung aromatic compounds naman, this contains a ring of alternating single and double bands. So, as you can see here, there are the examples and of course the class which is saturated, unsaturated, unsaturated and of course your aromatic compounds are also unsaturated. Now, let's proceed to the first example of hydrocarbons known as alkanes. Now, it is quite easy to identify that it is an example of alkanes because as you can see, the carbon and hydrogen atoms are connected by a single band. So as you can see, single band lang yung nagko-connect between hydrogen and carbon. So when that happens, it is known as alkanes. Here are other examples of alkanes known as pentane, hexane, heptane, and octane. Now let's proceed with alkenes. Now, kung kanina, yung alkanes is made up of single band, yung alkenes naman, it is made up of 
double bond. So, yung nagko-connect between hydrogen and carbon, as you can see, are double bonds. Another example of hydrocarbons is known as alkynes. Kung kanina, made up of single band, din yung alkynes naman, made up of double band, yung alkynes naman, they are made up of triple band. So, madali lang ma-differentiate between the three. As you could clearly see, that carbon is connected with hydrogen with triple band. Yung carbon-to-carbon -carbon connection is made up of triple band. Let's proceed to the functional groups, which is the fourth example of hydrocarbons. Now, yung functional groups ay binubuo ng dalawa. So, let's start with the first one, which is known as the alcohol hydroxyl group. Now, you already know, or it is quite easy, na malaman that is composed of alcohol hydroxyl group because from the word itself, these are the compounds between carbon and hydrogen which contains alcohols. So these are bonded to a carbon atom of an alkyl or a substituted alkyl group. Now, of course, we already know kung ano ba yung gamit ng mga alcohols. So this serves as many purpose, but one of the most popular use is it is used for disinfecting. Now, let us proceed to the last example of the functional groups which is known as the acetone and formalin, also known as the carbonyl group. Now, pag sinabing carbonyl group, they are chemically organic functional group composed of carbon atom which are double bonded to an oxygen atom. Now, examples of carbonyl group includes the acetone, formaldehyde, ketones, and aldehydes. Now, the common uses especially on acetone is it is because or it is used as cosmetics uh, for pharmaceuticals for paints and other uh, uses such as solvent and for laboratory uses uh, in the case naman of formaldehyde this is used for embalming and other uh, preservation purposes this time let us test your knowledge with regards to the uses of organic compounds. So, are you ready? First off, try to identify the uh, uses of the following organic compounds. So, you are just going to check the uh, whether the following or the given organic compounds are used for antiseptic, cosmetics, medicine, for beverage, for fuel, food, or cleaner. So, the given organic compounds are facial cream, antibiotics, down to kerosene. Now, you may pause the video while answering and press play so that you would know the answer. So, good luck! So, here are the correct responses. As we all know, facial cream as are used for cosmetics, antibiotics for medicine, LPG is of course used for fuel, vinegar can be used as an antiseptic and food as well, betadine for antiseptic, vegetable oil for food, penicillin for medicine, uh, baking soda can be used for antiseptic, food, and of course, cleaner. Ethyl alcohol is also used for antiseptic, can, is also used for beverage and fuel. On the other hand naman, yung kerosene is used as fuel and of course for cleaner. Now, let's move on to the next activity. This time, you are also uh, given again a uh, list of organic compounds and you are going to identify its space, whether it is solid, liquid, or gas. Try to identify its odor, whether it is it has a strong odor or a weak odor. And try to answer yes if it is flammable, if it is viscous, and if it is volatile. So, good luck! So, here are the correct responses. Did you get it all correct? If so, congratulations! Now, for the last quiz, you are only going to identify whether the following examples are alkane, alkene, or alkyne. So, you are going to write A if it is an alkene, E for alkene, and Y for alkyne. So, are you ready? So, ito nga pala yung correct responses. So, tama ba lahat? Kung tama lahat, congratulations. Kung hindi naman, you may review again the video so that you will get a perfect score. 
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have learned and have fun. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and ring the bell for you to be updated for my next videos. So Einstein Atix, out!